Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're gonna be looking at Star Wars The SH Figure Arts Luke Skywalker as he appears in The Last Jedi in the Battle of Krayt. Now I would say, and this is just my opinion, this is probably the best 6 inch Luke Skywalker that we have from sequel trilogy, at the time of recording this video of course. And uh, the likeness to Mark Hamill looks really good on this one and we all know how difficult for all these companies is to capture Mark Hamill's likeness, so I think that they did a pretty good job on this one. So let's take a closer look. The face, man, it looks really good to me, it looks just like Mark Hamill. I don't know what you guys think, but as I see him from all sides, this is probably one of the best Mark Hamill likenesses that I ever saw on 6 inch action figure from any company. So yeah, they did a great job here. We can see the seam line and that is because this uh, faceplate can be removed and interchanged with the alternate face, but that's the standard, the usual for the SH figure arts. His coat is done nicely, you can see that there is a texture on it, it really looks like fabric and here on the sleeves as well. On the rest of his robes this is much more plain but there are still some wrinkles that can be seen. The belt is simple and it's sculpted nicely. You can see that here is a hook for his lightsaber hilt. The pants, we see the wrinkles and then the boots with these straps and these kind of remind on the first Tatooine farm boy look. You can see that the straps on his legs are really similar and then the boots and on the back we can see the hood and then sculpted wrinkles and all these textured details it's done really really nicely. Now I've said it before I'm a fan of uh, soft goods and these types of plastic jackets and capes are always to me something that hinders the articulation of the figure especially on these SHF or Mafex figures that are so articulated and then you get this in the back and it kind of limits the movement of the figure. I'm not a fan of that. I would like for them to use uh, soft goods for this, but it is what it is. It's still a beautiful figure. As I said, to me it looks like the best likeness to Mark Hamill in the 6 inch scale. Let's now take a look at his accessories. As previously mentioned, he comes with an alternative faceplate. You can see that it's not a full head sculpt, it's a plate that uh, you just peg onto the head that is already on the figure. And this one has a hair moved to the side like it's flowing on the wind. But still, the likeness to Mark Hamill is great on this one as well. A lot of sculpted details and they painted it really, really nicely. He comes with those cubes from the Millennium Falcon that he gives to Leia at the end of the movie. Then he comes with unignited Anakin's lightsaber hilt and you can see that it's sculpted nicely and all of the details that should be painted are painted and it has a loop here so that the hilt can be storaged on his uh, belt. And then he comes with Anakin's ignited lightsaber with a translucent blue blade and it's also sculpted nicely. The blades on these SHF figures are not not removable so that's why they give you the unignited and the ignited version but uh, this saber looks really good and then he comes with just two alternate hands and we have the left one that is more like a relaxed hand and then the right one the gloved hand that is meant to be used for holding the lightsaber let's now take a look at his articulation the head is on a ball joint and he can look down this far up this far he can move side to side because of the neck articulation he can move in all sides and rotate 360. The arms move out this much, we have a butterfly joint, the elbow gives us this much, we have standard wrist pegs for the SHF that move in every direction, we have a cut down here and so it moves left and right, a little bit of tilt, he can crunch forward this much, back this much, his legs move out this much, there is no drop down in the hips but we have thigh swivel, the leg moves forward this much, back this much, there is a single bend in the knee, the feet move forward this much, back this much, 
we have a toe joint and an ankle pivot. Let's now compare our look here with some other figures. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts A New Hope Luke Skywalker and the SH Figure Arts Return of the Jedi Jedi Luke Skywalker. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts A New Hope Obi-Wan Kenobi and the SH Figure Arts The Force Awakens Han Solo. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts Episode 8 The Last Jedi Rey and Kylo Ren. Here he is with Bandai model kit Darth Vader with custom soft goods and the Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper. And finally here he is with Marvel Legends movie Logan and movie Deadpool. So all in all, as I said, this is a great Luke Skywalker figure from the sequel trilogy. Probably, in my opinion, the best one that we have in the six inch scale. The machinations really did a great job on this one. Although I would maybe like to have some more accessories in this set, maybe a few more extra hands for different types of dynamic poses. Because in terms of uh, interchangeable hands, this uh, set is really light. There are only two interchangeable hands and uh, we got used to getting a bit more from these uh, companies like uh, Medicom Toy, Mafex or Tamashi Nations so yeah. Also I would like for his coat to be made out of uh, soft goods for a better range of articulation but they decided to go with a plastic one so it is what it is. All in all, the likeness is great, the sculpt is great, the figure looks really good and I'm satisfied with it, but uh, I would really like to hear you guys. Do you have this figure or do you maybe plan on getting him or did you skip on this one? Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about this SHF Luke Skywalker? Stay tuned for a posing video, but that's all I wanted to say for this video. Thank you all for watching, thank you for being here with me and I'll see ya in the next one.